All right, it's Chief of Bonnie with Board Games, and Yellow's recently sent me just a bunch of different things for Heroes of Normandy. One of the ones that was kind of the most visually appealing to me and that I didn't know anything about at all were what they were calling these little gazettes. And I've got one, two, three, and four. Now, I haven't unshrinked them. I'm going to do that here, but I wanted to explain a little bit at least what they look like, and then I guess we'll see what they are. Is they look like they're little like unit expansions, and then they give some very cool history, and they do it in what the format looks like, an old newspaper. So this is giving you history of different kinds of mines, and how mines were used in World War I, but they really come into their heyday in World War II, and there's anti-tank mines and personnel and different types. And we'll have to see if something's on the back of this, if it's some specific rules, I would imagine so. Uh, but then you get into what looks like mines and different things of that nature. You've got a rifle team that's coming in with an anti-mine. Let me get the shrink off of it, but they've got a little mine detector. And it's just, you got, so you got mine sweepers on both sides. Just very, very interesting. I think I'm going to have a little hard time getting these off. Hold on. All right, I got a tear started. Let's see if we can get in this without destroying anything. And we'll see, you know, do we have a rules sheet underneath the Gazette? Again, brand new, love the look. And I'm going to keep chatting while I'm still struggling. Come on, come on. This stuff is like made out of Teflon. Hey, Lord have mercy. Come on. All right, here we go. Sure, sure. Look at this. All right, this is what I'm talking about. So, boom. Look at this. Full color. Looks like we've got a little scenario set up even. We do what American Victory takes. The sheets we're going to lose. Look at this. You can mine the beaches. Wow. Wow, that's actually a lot more than I expected that was folded up in there. So, we've got Juno Beach. Huh. Well, cool. We'll get into more on this, but let's take a look a little bit closer here. And flip side. Huh. Let's just keep working through these. I'll go into the next one, which is uh, issue two of the Gazette, which is Hobart's Funnies, which I knew were a bunch of different vehicles that were created for the landing, for the D-Day landing. Let's uh, take a look. Let me get this off. All right. Well, we can see some of those already, but let's take a look. Let's go over to these rules. They're already coming loose. Wow. Hold on. All right. So Herbert's Hobart's funny. If I could speak, Hobart's funnies. So again, great color. Huh. Look at this Major Percy Hobart. A little bit of history. Nice. We're going to get a little scenario out of it. Composition of the armies. Playing the game. End of the game victory situations. Red death. End of the game. So it looks like you're getting a couple. We got all the deals on special abilities. You can see how the flame just rocks out. I'm telling you. Uh, Heroes of Normandy is so visually stunning. Just such a, such a pleasure to play while you're while you've got it on the table. Now, what is this? I can tell this is a BAR already. Buy War Bonds. Wow, a little racy. Woo! So if you're a big fan, let's see. Oh, come on now. Huh. There we go. BAR dropping in with a 500 pound bomb. Some B-20, well, what, a B-26 is in the background? Just twin engine. What's on the back? Oh, lordy, lordy. The enemy. Goodness. Look at that. Oh, nothing like uh, buzz bombs coming by. So, all right. Well, there you go. Let me get those out of the way and I'll show you the counters. All right. So we've got the Sherman Crab, which, if I remember right, had the chain or the flail. 
and I may not remember right, so we'll just... And we got the Churchill Crocodile and the Churchill ARC, the ARC Mark I. I don't know what that is. Huh. All right, then we got Percy Hobart himself. Cool, cool, cool. I'm telling you, these are really surprising me. I'm like, what is going to be in this one? Easy company, I know. But hello. Oh my. Oh my. I just went to cut these out. I'm ecstatic. Look at this. We got Malarkey. We got Picante. Sergeant Randleman. Webster. Wynn. Luz. Lipton. Look at this. Lieutenant Ronald Spears. Holy moly. Cool. Eugene Doc Rowe Sr. Wow. I had no idea. William Wild Beer Garnier. Did I say Wild Beer? Wild Bill. Holy. I went to go cut him out. I was like, stop. Oh my. Talk about some heroes. Huh. Way to go, guys. All right. First of all, Dick Winters. This is just cool. This is making me want to go back and watch again. Best World War II series I've ever seen. Movie, whatever. I mean, just phenomenal. Wow, I'm excited. Ronald Spears. Look at this, Lieutenant Winters. Huh. Run, Spears, run. Oh, wow. Man, this is making me want to go watch the movie again, or the miniseries. Look at that. You can play Rendezvous, Karen Tan, and after that. You got Run, Spears, Run. That's only one carbine. Oh, wow. Okay. Hold on, I'm gushing. Let me... Okay, just to save it. We've already seen... Wow, we've already seen all that. Let's take a look at the back. That was the back. Oh, wow. All right, so you can get a look without the glare. There he is. Huh. Wow, how did I not know about these? These are great. Huh. All right, Brandenburg. All right, the Falsham Jaeger. This is going to be, we've had our American Airborne. Now we're going to go get the, uh, now we're going to go to the German Airborne. These guys were top notch. All right, let's see what we got after that. Oh, so Brandenburger, who left the door open? Ooh, Scorzani. All right, Otto. He goes in and rescues uh, Mussolini off of a hill. So this is interesting. That actually looks like him. So, sure enough. Very nice. Sorry, bumping the camera. So we got a whole bunch of history here, and then we got Operation... I can't say it. History is always written by the winners. Yeah, that is true. All right, a mess in the Ardennes. So it looks like we've got two scenarios. Yep, scenario one, scenario two briefing. Very cool. Let's look at these counters. Huh. We got Otto. Otto is right there. And then we're actually moving into Bonito Mussolini. Wow, he's got his own little card. Eberhard Hebert. Hebert. Hmm. Hmm. There you go. That's kind of neat. Well, what a great little way to put out scenarios. Sorry I ended up going long on this, but that is well worth it. Mm -hmm.